Welcome to Final Fantasy VII. Curious is cool. Um, last session was a ton. Monged means kind of like dead, zombie-ish. Like, <laughs> like you just got no energy. Um, at least where I'm from, it means that. It, it does mean other things in different areas, so context. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah. Oh, we did a lot of missions yesterday, didn't we? I think we're at 19, 20% now or something like that. Uh, we're going to do a few more, but I do want to get some story content on the go because we miss it. We're, we need to get a balance going. We don't have the balance. Oh, man. PS skills are improving by the minute. In this session, we have sensed an accessory component within the caves. Search the caves and verify its extra sensory vision. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. No, you're not late, Ranger, and welcome to the stream, dude. We literally just started. We were just having, like, I just, we were just doing our, you know, like, pre-stream chat, chilling out, welcoming everyone, all that jazz. I uh, see the monster be over there. Activated combat mode! I'm just waiting for it. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Activating combat mode is what this person says every time we get into a fight. <laughs> Activating combat mode. See? Bastard, I would have missed that. Jesus, we are so under level for this era, aren't we? Just that imp alone took a beating. Alright, explosion sweep. Alright, we're gonna head left, see if there's any looty loots. Ah, oh, shit. How far have I gotten? Um, not too far. <laughs> Imagine <God>. peace. <laughs> how far have I got? Well, it depends how you define progress, <laughs> which means not very far. Activating combat mode. But compared to um, ooh, Compared to other Final Fantasies, like the tight like the numbered titles, uh, Crisis Core isn't a long game. Yeah. So I guess you could say I'm getting far. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm lying. Prove your honor to me. I got it. Get my frog. Ah, oh, so good. Champion belt. Yeah, I really want to do a collect all the all the triple triad cards uh, run in Final Fantasy VIII, man, because that card game was so fun. Um, I was look, I was so like taken with triple triad that um, I looked up to see whether or not it was gonna be whether it was a thing in fourteen, because I thought, oh man, that's just like. That's just dying to happen, right? You, like, you've got an MMO, which is normally about, like, collecting shit, like, getting that rare loot and stuff. I mean, what if it wasn't in just a form of, like, uh, weapons and armor, but also, like, cards, you know? Like, you could get, like, rare boss cards from monsters and shit, so you could, like, play Triple Triad in, like, taverns or something. Um, turns out it's currently not a thing. But there's this place called Golden Saucer, which is meant to be an up-and-coming, like, uh, update. Where you have, like, all these mini-games you can bet on, like, Chocobo races. And apparently Triple Triad's gonna be in it. So I'm like, fuck yeah! Really excited for that. 
It's a good time to want to begin into 14. Oh my god! <laughs> Fuck this! We're doing story stuff! If I'm stepping on the flowers, it's still. Yeah, we got absolutely murdered then, didn't we? Sorry, sorry. The exit? That door over there. You going already? Mm, yes. Yeah, I should get going. Alright, thanks again, Aerith. Yeah. <laughs> So, are you always here? Yeah. Hey, so where are you going? Hmm, I'm not really sure. I'll take you there, okay? <laughs> I'll take you to not really sure. Pretty sure. <laughs> you just want to spend more time with me, right? Yeah. Whoa, were you? Oh wow, you're not supposed to be so direct like that, you know? <laughs> what was that? Yeah, this must be under the plate. It's like the fire. This is the slums. Yeah. If you walk a little, you'll be in the central slums. There's lots of people and you can go about the plate from there too. So I'll walk you over there. And if I can get out onto the streets, I guess I can figure things out from there. Okay, lead the way. Okay, I'll show you the way to the central slums. There you do that. Ah! The dreaded NPC slow walk and you run super fast. Curse. <laughs> uh, oh my god, this is me going slow. God damn it, Aerith. <laughs> oh, what's going on here? Shinra News Personal Announcement 0104. Official Personnel Announcement. Effective today, Zach Fair has been promoted to Soldier First Class. Fuck yeah. Folks above the plate throw stuff away all the time, and it ends up down here. They may be, they may be trash to you, but for us, they're valuable sources of income. Ooh. Don't mind if I take a sneaky peek, then. <clears throat> Not the hedgehog frogs! Ah, here we go. Zach, let's run. Don't sweat it. I'll protect you. I'll handle it. You can? Just stand back so you don't get hurt. <laughs> oh, Zach. <laughs> I'm a hero! You fuck it! I feel so safe with you, Zach. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, you can beat up monsters. You're so strong. Strong, huh? something wrong? No. It's nothing. Anyway, so things weren't tough at all. So, did I look cool? A little? Hmm. Hmm. Beats me. Aerith, in these types of situations, you should be more... Hey, Zach. Let's go, okay? <laughs> uh, hello? <laughs> I 
have feelings and I want to be heard. <laughs> she no care. People from the slums can be categorized into two groups. Those who hate Shinra and those who idealize Shinra. I'm in the latter. Someday I'm gonna get me a Shinra executive so I can live the good life. Ah, that's why, that's why you idolize Shinra. Cause the Moolah, cause they're Moolah. Hey, wait. <laughs> no, just spray painted on the wall. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. So the central slums are this way? Yeah. Hmm. What is it? I guess the slums are built just like any other city. Of course. Many people have lived here for a long time. Inside the gate there, there's a marketplace. It's fun because there are so many stores. You can go above the plate from there too. Alright. stuffy down here. Really? It's always like this though. I know what it is. You can't see the sky. Who wants to see the sky? I don't, that's for sure. Wouldn't you normally miss seeing the sky if you lived under a plate all the year round? I guess I'm not normal. Talk about it. The sky frightens me. I feel like it's sucking me in. Weird, huh? Normal is overrated. You think so? I have an idea. One day, I'll take you to see a beautiful sky. The real sky. It's not frightening at all. I know you're gonna love it. No. No, wait. We go. Hmm. Looks like an interesting place. I should take a look around. Whoa! Watch out! Oh, sorry. Be more careful! Hmm, Zach, you didn't just lose something, did you? Like any of your belongings? Did I lose something? I don't think so. Ah! My wallet! gone? Was it that kid? Oh, I'm gonna hunt him down. Zach, wait. I'm sorry, but I know that boy. You know him? There has to be some reason. He would not usually never do something like this. Whatever the reason, stealing is wrong. I'm gonna find him and let's ask him why he did it. I'll bring him here. Hey! She's gone. I'll have to look for him too. There's a lot of people here. I guess I'll look around. What's this saying at the number guessing game? N number number guessing game? Okay. If you need material, you've come to the right place. Everything from the tougher land to cheap junk. Okay. I'm a carpenter, traveling all over the world. This lump is mine. No one steals from me! Okay. Bazaar. Children in the slums. Soldier members, I thank you for your daily work. On the ground, beneath the aerial city of Midgar, and in the shadow of its plates, lie the slums. They also symbolize one of Shinra's distortions. There are reports of children forming gangs in the harsh environments they call home. To look away from this wall, surely cast a large shadow of Shinra's future growth. It is my hope that we members of Soldier can rise up to address this distortion. We? You mean fucking me. 
Anything from gifts to your loved ones to everyday use items. If you need accessories, get them here. Yeah, no thanks. Oh, are you looking for someone? The exit leads to the power to above the plates. Maybe he went that way. Maybe he did! Maybe he go out this way? Hey, you there. Did you see a kid come running this way? A kid? Can't say I have. This path leads above the plate. Children would never come this way. Damn. Looking for someone? Yeah. And you lost him? Yeah. Was your wallet stolen or something? How did you know? If you want to catch someone here, you need some assistance. Assistance? I can't find anyone alone in this place. Should ask someone on the streets for help. People on the streets, huh? Yeah, maybe I should ask around. I'm sure I can find them faster that way. I have been asking around! Hey, you got a minute? I'm looking for this kid. He looks like this, and he's about yay tall. Yeah, I know that kid! You look pretty desperate, now I'll go find him for you. Seriously? You can wait here. Alright, thanks. Hmm. Have I been tricked? Ugh, I'm tired of waiting! How far did she go to look? Trying to help him get away. That's so mean. Are you saying you don't trust me? It's alright. I'll try looking somewhere. Zach! Oh, Eric. Did you find the kid? Uh, not yet, but we'll find him soon, I promise. Uh, uh, taking on my moolah. Oh, you're. Oh, nothing, sir. Uh, I'm a Shinra infantryman on patrol. Mm -hmm. What? A kid? Go outside these gates? No, he's gone through these gates for a while. Could I ask you something? I'm looking for a kid who stole my wallet. Have you seen any suspicious looking kids around? He looks like this and he's about yay tall. No, I haven't seen. Oh no. No, wait, I have! Really? He ran that way. That way, huh? Yeah, yeah! All the way down that way! Okay, thanks! Hey, wait! He's over that way! Now he's not. What's the big idea, sister? Hehe, <laughs> I didn't mean to trick you or anything. I just have really bad eyesight. Yeah, I bet you do. Yeah, it's alright. I'll try looking elsewhere. There's only someone trustworthy enough to ask for help. I wonder if Aerith is still looking. Could she really catch him by herself? Looks like they're all in on ducking the, the big time flashy soldier dudes down in the slums. I'm actually kind of lost now. <laughs> I think I've spoken to everyone here. Yeah, I have. Fudge. 
trying to go outside right now. <laughs> I have very bad eyesight. Whatever. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We're going here. Oh, no, we can't. <clears throat> I'm not the one who's running away. <laughs> I just stay here and watch people pass by. But you're always running around. It's because someone stole my wallet! And you helped him get away. I saw a boy running by the accessory shop. You know, from around here, are you? Uh, you can only hope everybody's cooperative. <laughs> but they ain't. Accessory shop, is this it? Oh no, was this a material place? Hey, you got a minute? What is it? I'm looking for a kid who stole my wallet. Can you help me catch him? He looks like this, and he's about yay tall. A kid? Yeah, no problem, I get you back. Thanks, I appreciate it. I'm gonna take a look around this area. If you see him, you know what to do. Where did he go? There he is! Hey, you! That's the kid! Get him for me! Ugh, he got away. <laughs> well, I tried to catch him, but he stole my most prized material before I was able to do anything. Once he used that, there's no way I could catch him. You didn't even try to chase him, did you? And no, you got me all wrong, buddy. <sighs> it's alright. I'll try looking elsewhere. Alright, I'll come check again, maybe. Hmm? Oh, Eric. Did you find the kid? No, I can't find him, but I promise I will. Trust me. <laughs> hey, you on a minute? Looking, looking for a gift for your girlfriend? I'll be your girlfriend. Uh, no, I'm not here to shop. Oh, you're not a customer. Uh, I'm looking for a kid who stole my wallet. Can you help me catch him? He looks like this, he's about yay tall. Oh yeah, I guess I can keep an eye out for a prize. Thanks. Well, I'm gonna have a look around here. If you see the kid, catch him for me. Oh. There he is! Hey, you! That's the kid! Get him for me! Whoa, whoa, whoa. The slippery little one, isn't he? What are you doing? Oh, he's gone. Oh, sorry about that. I'm not a very fast runner. Yeah, right. You didn't even try to chase him at all. Well, I wouldn't say I wasn't trying. Alright. Try looking elsewhere. Zack! <laughs> Did you find the kid? I see him, but he runs so fast. Maybe I can't catch him by myself. Who else can I talk to about these urgent matters? Yeah, we've already tried the accessory shop and the item shop. Useless! Aerith, there you are. Zach. Uh, talk to Aerith. <sighs> Looks like you've had no luck either. You don't have to be so glum. It was my wallet that was stolen, after all. I'm sorry, but it has to be a good reason. Well, if he's gonna use the money, 
would still be inside the city, right? Yeah, I'm sure he is. Then help me find him. We won't get anywhere unless we catch him, right? Yeah, but if you do catch him, you have to hear his story out. Alright, alright. I'll ask him why he did it. Okay, then I'll help you. <laughs> okay, I guess Eric can stay around here, and I'll take another look around the streets. There, I got you now. Eric, he's running towards you. Hey you, no more runnings. We got him. You sneaky little runt. Stealing from people is a... Zack. <sighs> a very, very bad thing. So tell me, why did you do it? He's none of your business. When you stole my wallet, you made it my business. You promised me a long time ago that you would never steal again. Are you in some kind of trouble? If you're in trouble, just say so. Now you've got Aerith all worried. My own wallet was eaten by a monster! But I have to buy medicine and get home quickly! Medicine? I'll get your wallet back from the monster. <laughs> really? Leave it to me. That's dangerous. No worries. Monsters in this area are no match for me. Besides, if I don't do this, he's gonna have to steal again, right? Then I'll help too. Nah, it's okay, Eric, really. I'll take care of it. You can stay here and keep that kid out of trouble. And the monster should be in the street. It goes to the back. Here's your wallet back. Get whatever you need before you go. Little shit. Hmm. The park is this way. Hey, you there? Get back behind the gates right now! Legions of monsters have appeared at the park! The park? Okay, it's gotta be it. What do you mean, okay? Everyone is evacuating! It's too dangerous, you have to turn back! I'm sorry, but... Those guys owe me some money. I have to go collect. No, what? You're talking nonsense! <laughs> it's alright, don't worry about me. You, on the other hand, should get back behind the gate. Yeah, what now? Whoa. Here we go. This must be them. The wallet must be in one of their stomachs. Uh, that means I'm gonna have to. Ugh, gross. Yeah, I love this job. Activating combat mode. Later. Ha! Huh, I found the kid's wallet. The inside's still intact, right? Whoa! That's a whole lot of money! <laughs> He's got more money than Zack. <laughs> you really get it back? Yeah, so slimy. Hey, quit complaining. You should be glad to have it back. Zack, were you hurt? Not a scratch. No problem whatsoever. Now, to deal with this brat, get ready for the longest lecture of your life. Is what I'd like to say, but you can go. You're in a hurry, right? Yeah, thanks, Misty. Next time you're in trouble, don't steal. Come talk to me first. Mm, I appreciate the offer, but I think I'll pass. I thought you looked pretty rich, but you wanted to tell me another story. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't 
Don't mock me, Junior. I'm gonna be a wealthy man soon. Aerith and I are gonna sell flowers. Huh? We call it Operation Midgar Full of Flowers, Wallet Full of Money. That's right. Midgar Full of Flowers, Wallet Full of Money. Yeah, if you seriously doing this. Yeah, I'm gonna try anyway. So no stealing. Come talk to me if you're in trouble, okay? Wait. Yeah, have to hurry. Thanks, Herf. Missed it. Should be more careful on the street unless you want to get your wallet taken again. Obnoxious little brat. Get lost already! <laughs> Thanks for helping that boy, Zack. Oh, that was nothing. Hey, Zack. Are you really serious about selling the flowers? Of course! How can I turn back now after all I said? I have an idea. Let's make a wagon. A wagon? Yeah, a flower wagon. If we have a wagon to put the flowers in, we can cart them all around Midgar selling them. Oh yeah, that's true. That is a good idea. Get some mail. <laughs> from the good sale, Halder's T-shirt. It seems Halder's favorite T-shirt is the one with a logo of Benora's famous canned apples. Can a guy love apples that much? What do you suppose he has ever tasked of Benora? And apparently, with all the confidential information they handle, guys in the SAS department aren't allowed to leave the company, even if they screw up or lose out in a rat race. And that puts them under a lot of stress. Maybe Halder's T-shirt helps them relieve some of that, huh? <laughs> Cutsel! Whatever you say, man. <laughs> Such a great area. I hope you have fun here. I got my wallet stolen. You lied to me, eh? You, you, li you lied to me. Well, I hope your bad eyesight ain't gonna accidentally add a couple of noughts onto your fucking prices. Welcome to the item shop. On sale for a limited time only, a most exquisitely fragrant perfume. An ideal gift for that special lady friend. How about it, mister? 300 gil each. What the fuck? Ugh, why would I buy perfume? Yeah, I guess I could buy one. Here's a proposition for you. Normally the price is 300 gil, even, but... If you were to blend in some of this valuable rose oil, <laughs> this cheap perfume can become quite luxurious. Would you like to try blending? Ugh, yeah, let's try. Yeah, I knew you wouldn't disappoint me. Alright, I'll explain what you have to do. Let's hear it. In the beginning, the clerk will say the amount of oil need needed is XX drops. This points to the ideal amount of oil needed for the perfume. Blending the exact number of drops specified to create a luxurious new fragrance. When blending begins, the rose oil will drip in random amounts like this. Drip, 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 drip. You must count the number of drips that are blended in. Drip counts as one drop of oil. Drip, drip counts as two drops of oil. Splash counts for ten drops of oil. When you think you've reached a specified number of drops, press X to start. The amount of oil needed is 26 drops. Make sure you count carefully. Okay, let's stop blending! Kind of said it is. <laughs> Brings out her in a her in a dragon. Wow, it smells so nice. Thank you so much, Zach. All right. Does this mean you really like it? Yeah, it's almost a shame to use it. Yeah. Well, uh, I hope I hope you enjoy it. 
<laughs> right. Oh, hi, Aerith. Is that your new boyfriend? Hmm, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> hey, aren't you? You are. The guy who was chasing that kid around? I heard about you from the neighborhood folks. I thought you were just some dumb outsider, but it turns out you're a pretty good guy. I'm sorry we misjudged you. This is just a small token of our appreciation. Yes, yeah, what I'm talking about. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh. I have to say, though, Eric, you're not going to find a decent, honest, kind-hearted guy like this very often. This one has a stamp of approval. I hope you're very happy together. No, he's not my boyfriend. I just met him. But maybe there's something there. Maybe. Oh, wait. Can I take a look inside the store? So what? The whole reason you wanted to go out was the shop? That's Janie in a nutshell. That's Janie in a nutshell. Right, next week I gotta go to Primark um, uh, with her, right? I'm there as the bag bitch, right? I'm there purely to hold all her clothes, and no doubt I'm going to be buying all the cheddar cheese, all the nice things she's going to be wanting to pull over her fucking, her face and stuff. Then I won't! I'm just kidding. Don't look as long as you like. Thanks. Just for a little bit, I promise. I really like this store, huh? Yeah. It's fun just looking around. Hey, Eric? Mm-hmm. To show my gratitude for that hello that woke me up, I'll buy you something. Oh, you don't have to. You were paying me one date, right? You said don't be silly. Well... Then consider it a one-day anniversary gift of our friendship. Are you sure? Positive. Okay, this one. All right, I'll go buy it. I'll be right back. How's that? Did you put it on right? Will it stay on? It should be fine. Yeah, it looks great. Thank you, Zack. I'll always wear it from now on. Hey, do you there there? Do you still have some time? Well, I guess so. Why? Why don't we go to the park? Whoa, that kind of sounds like a date. Uh huh. <laughs> let's go right now. <laughs> okay, let's go. So, ever meet any soldier members? Maybe. Do you think that they're happy? What do you mean? Heroes to children. Protectors of the peace. But, they're not normal. They get some kind of special surgery. Don't they? So they say. Normal is best. I think so. At least... Those soldier people are kind of... weird. They're... weird, huh? And they're... scary. They fight. And they love it. <gasps> Actually, <laughs> I'm with Soldier. I'm sorry. So pretty. The face? <laughs> the eyes. You like them? 
Then take a closer look. Eyes infused with Mako energy. A soldier trademark. Oh, you. <laughs> Color of the sky, right? Uh-huh. But not scary at all. I'll admit, things haven't been normal at all lately. What about you, Aerith? How's your life going? <laughs> I was thinking it would be a normal day. But then suddenly... Some guy fell out of the sky. That's not all that bad. Hmm. Zack, return to the Shinra building now. Genesis has attacked us. Uh, on my way. I'm sorry, but duty calls. Well, I guess I should get going then. Will I see you again? Of course. I hope that your friend's okay, Zack. Huh? You talk in your sleep. Yeah. It'll be fine. I know that now. Poor Zack. <clears throat> to get to the Shinra building from here, I have to go through the marketplace, if I recall. Alright. Really taking this area, goddammit. Taking this fabulous play area, god damn it. <laughs> I wish I could climb in him. Ah. Oh. It swings. Mm. More monsters, huh? Shinra building. Am I ready? I'm ready. All right, let's do this. Hey. Huh? Oh, the little feet from before. I didn't know you were going home so fast. I'm glad I caught you. I want to give this material to you. I'm never gonna steal it again. That's why I want to keep. Want you to keep this for me. Steal. <laughs> well, good for you. I'm always happy to serve as a role model. Twisted, mister. Don't use that material to do bad things. Of course I won't. Well, never mind that. I actually want to tell you something else. You're a really good person, mister. A perfect match for Aerith. Oh, where did that come from? It's between you and me. Aerith is pretty sweet on you. I'm rooting for you, mister. Don't fuck it up. Come talk to me anytime if you need anything. See ya. <laughs> well, well. Looks like I gained a lot of trust. I guess I'll hold on to this material then. Shinra building. Damn you, Genesis. What's the matter with you? I'll stop you once and for all. Heightened emotions have affected the DMW. Hmm. I want to steal things. Allows you to take items from the enemy. I like the sound of that. The 
don't waste any time. I'm in a hurry here, so back off. Activating combat mode. <laughs> Ah, you steal from this one. Complete resolved. All right, gotta move. Up, we have Max. They're pretty adamant about not letting me pass. <laughs> Yay! Well, I'm pretty adamant about busting through. Activating combat mode. Oh yes, nice. Ugh, more of them? Enough already. Ugh, now I'm surrounded. It's like an army of ants or something. I'll take your down at once. Settle down a bit. This is taking longer than I thought. I better get moving. Oh no. <laughs> I guess life's just not that simple. Yeah, yeah, you don't have to remind me. God, stung a little. Cut above from the usual riffraff, are we? But you're going down. Steal his staff, <laughs> just take it from him. Run the credits because that's gotta be the end. We better hurry. I need your help. Do you? Honestly, what are you thinking, Angeal? I'm not really sure myself. At times I feel as if my mind is mired in fog. But Zack, no matter what happens, I have to protect my honor. As long as I hold the Buster Sword. Zack, join my battle. Our enemy is all that creates suffering. All right. I'll help you. I'll carry you there. No, wait, I... Flying feels pretty good. I'm just gonna forget the fact that he kind of just stabbed the shit out of his mom. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. You're late. 
Sephiroth in the last wait. On to business. It's safe to assume Honda's ordered Genesis to eliminate Hoja. Hoja? The director of the science department? Yes. He believes Hoja robbed him of his rightful position. And they'll be targeting the science department for upstairs. Forget about Hojo. An unusual move, I see. Sephiroth, take the floor below. I'll handle things outside. Zack, you go up. Hojo will be your responsibility. Understood. By now, I have no idea what Injo is up to. But what he's thinking? But we're fighting side by side again. That's good enough for me. Science department is down this way. Activating combat mode. Progress. Got him. Conflict resolved. Activating combat mode. Professor. Ah, oh, you're safe. Shh, please be more quiet. The building is under attack by the Genesis Army. They may be after you, Professor Hojo. And you all my protection? In any case, we have to evacuate. Will you come with me? <laughs> Degrading monsters are nothing to fear. Are you talking about Genesis? Indeed, a memento from an unenlightened era when men would deem any unclassified life form an ancient. Unclassified life form? Genova, the calamity that fell from the sky. Uh. Your ignorance is of no consequence. The soldier's duty is not to think, it is to protect men who think for them like me. Be a dick. Whoa, looks complicated. Uh, let's push a button. Oh, what was that noise? You released some test sample monsters onto the floor. Monsters? They were too ferocious to be of any use. I was just about to get rid of them. The timing could not have been any better. Take responsibility to dispose of the samples! Who, me? <laughs> Dissatisfied, are you? Then I'll tell you something interesting. The detention cells on the 67th floor are currently being used as storage for surplus recovery items. The monsters you released each hold a jail card key for those cells. There may be some useful items lying around those storage cells. If you're interested, try to get the keys for the monsters. However, you'll have to figure out how to get the keys from them first. Getting a jail key from a monster, huh? Even if you fail, there is no need for concern. After three minutes, a tranquilizer gas will be released. If you can dispose of monsters within that time, you're free to look around in the cells. I get to it! I don't have all day! Tranquilizer gas? You're not gonna tranquilize me as well, are you? I just have to take the monsters out within three minutes, right? This will be a good test of your soldier abilities. <laughs> Dick. Okay, 
These must be the test subjects. I guess I have to take care of them. What? Hey! Where are you going? Hey, hey, hey! My soldier pride is at stake here. Come back! <laughs> soldier pride. Pursuit of the laboratory monsters. Oh, man, they're scattered all over the place. Gotta take them out fast. So if I can get the keys from the monsters, I can look around in the cells, he said. Now how to get the keys from them? Begin pursuit! Eh! Eh! Here comes the plan. Uh, the pain, I was gonna say the plan. Here comes the plan! I kill the monster and take the key! Conflict resolved. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! There you are. Still no key? Fuck. Activating combat mode. Please drop the key. Conflict resolved. I got that. This must be the cell area. I guess I can go and use the jail cell key? He just ducked and dived my ass. You're not getting away. Gotcha, sweet. Nothing to take. Conflict resolved. Right, I can go in. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this yet. Silence. Attack up. Oof, not bad. I don't have a jail zone game. Fuck. Oh no! I shouldn't have killed the other ones. That's the end of the cleanup duty. There's still a little time left. I'll go check out the cells before I go back. <laughs> What I'll do is I'll, I'll open 6 and 5, assuming like they save the good stuff for the last door. High potion. Remedy. Two, oh god, 2 G what? Playing me. Ooh, another HP up. The man of Adu. Alright, that's as far as we're gonna get. Fucking gassed out, man. I took care of all the monsters and I don't have a single key on me. Time to head back. Professor, it's all done. 
It appears you dispose of all the samples. I have to accept you as a first. Well, obviously. The date you provided was somewhat interesting. You may keep any items you found as a reward. But I have locked all the cells again, so there is no more poking about. Intriguing data, I must say. <laughs> Man, that guy is creepy. <clears throat> it appears you're not keeping very busy. I wouldn't say that, but... Did you not say I have unwanted company? Are you prepared to defend this brilliant mind with your life? Well... Of course. Of course I'm prepared. Come and get it is what I say. I'll show them the power of a next generation soldier first class. <laughs> Most encouraging. I won't abide any losses to some second rate scientist creation. Well, look who's here. Hollander sent you, correct? You think that if you obey Hollander, he'll stop your body from degrading. Is that it? Pitiful. Just pitiful, I say. <clears throat> Genesis. <clears throat> <laughs> a second-rate hack like Hollander couldn't cure a cold. Genesis, that's enough. Ah, what do we have here? My friend, the fates are cruel. There are no dreams, no honor remains. The arrow has left. The bow of the goddess. The entire cast of Hollander's freak show. Shut up, you! Loveless, Act 4. Where the two friends challenge each other to a duel. <laughs> An ancient epic. I read it thinking it might aid my research. But pure drivel. How does the duel end? Unknown. The last act is missing. And yet to be discovered. There are various theories. The mysterious gift of the goddess. What is the meaning behind it? For us, at least. Hey! Hold it, Genesis! He just giggle into his mouth. <laughs> My soul corrupted by vengeance. Corrupted by anger. Hath endured torment to find the end of the journey in my own salvation and your eternal slumber. He's summoning again. Zack. I leave this to you. Huh? You can do this. Trust me. Uh, don't leave me here! This dude Stop. just summons all the time. Aerith? Listen, can I call you back later? I have some company. Keep your guests waiting, she says. <laughs> oh, thank you, little badass. Right, let's do this. I wonder if I can steal from him. Haha, <laughs> no way. What the fuck is Hexafang? 
Oh shit! Here we go. Got me the last one. Is everybody? Mm. You know what time it is. You know what time it is, motherfucker. <laughs> well, guys, we ended up seeing a bit more of the story content there, didn't we? Rather than um, rather than uh, oh, got my back. Rather than um missions constantly oh god which was nice it was a nice break so we kind of learnt we, we we found out about the whole slums area didn't we of shinra the how you know the the poorer side of shinra and how they kind of take to high-end soldiers and stuff but we proved ourselves as being an honest good citizen and we earned their trust and in the process we're going to be setting up a store to a uh, uh, sell some flowers so we can get a wallet full of money. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that's gonna be it for, um... Uh, Final Fantasy VII Crisis Call, uh, for now, for just a little bit. I'm gonna take a bit of a break, because I'm still, I'm still kind of waking up after last night's antics, man. I'm like, oh, God, I was just crashed out, so I'm still kind of waking up. Uh, yeah, I, I love ja uh, Zach's jokey sense of life as well. The kind of happy-go-lucky kind of attitude. I love it. Always, I always really enjoy characters with that kind of mentality. I think you, especially in a ser in a, if a story is going to be like really sad or something, or really, or if it's really serious, that kind of personality always kind of blooms. I always kind of go, oh yeah, you you need that kind of bit of comic relief for that kind of like optimism to kind of balance out a game's kind of. Uh, uh, atmosphere, I think. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed um, enjoyed the Crisis Core. Uh, we're gonna be doing more again today. I'm sure gonna be making the most of my uh, rest day. So yeah, really excited. Hope you guys are too. I don't know whether I'm gonna play something else today while we're while we're just kind of chilling, kicking back. Maybe I don't know. We'll see if Jamie wants to do something. But if not, then we can probably just mess around on some shit. But yeah, until then, guys, take care of yourselves. Bye. -bye.